welcome back to my channel to start out this vlog i wanted to share my very fun new nails you guys probably know if you've been with me that i usually do like nude kind of like soft white colored nails all of the time but i thought since it's summer and we only have a few weeks of summer left why not do something really fun and colorful and i really love this trend of a french manicure with a colored tip i think it's so fun and it's a nice way to do color and to do something a little bit different but not be like too crazy so i really love it it makes me really happy when i look at my nails i was thinking about doing different tones so a different color on each finger but i thought since it's my first time kind of like playing around with color i'll keep it all to one shade but i do think it's something really fun and different and yeah, it just makes me very happy looking down at my very colorful nails. Another beauty related thing that I want to share with you guys is the hair removal system that I use. Some of you may know I started laser hair removal a couple of years ago, but I never actually got to finish all of my sessions because the pandemic hit, everything closed, and I wasn't able to continue with my sessions. And around that time, I heard about Kenzie, which is an IPL at home hair removal handset. So this is kind of like a laser it works a little bit differently it's IPL which stands for intense pulsed light so I've actually been using this for almost a year and I've seen such great results and the way that I can compare it is that my legs were actually almost completely lasered but it didn't actually take so well on my underarm so this is where I use it the most however I do still use it on my legs because when I did the laser it wasn't done that detail orientated so I have some strips of hair on my legs that are still growing and what i did was actually take a picture of where the hair was still growing because whenever you do laser or ipl you need to make sure that the area is completely shaped so obviously you don't see where you have the hair when you're doing this but i would basically pull up the picture on my phone as i was doing my legs and i would just go over the areas where i knew the hair was still growing one thing to note with laser is that it is very very painful that's something that i think almost everyone who's tried it can agree with with IPL however it's a lot more softer and gentler when it comes to pain it's definitely not completely pain-free you do feel it's kind of like if a rubber band was to snap your skin so the pain is not that bad but you really do get beautiful results so I feel like it is worth it this is also safe to use on your face so on your upper lip on your chin and then of course you can do your legs underarms bikini area and I love that you can do it all from the comfort of your own home as well so I actually do this in my bed I will watch something either on YouTube or on the TV and just chill out very comfortably as I am pulsing and removing the hair with this little device. So how it works, in the box you get of course your handset and then you get this really nice long cord that you just plug into the wall and it's nice that you don't have to charge anything, you just plug this in at the bottom like so. In your box you also get a quick start instructions manual which shows you exactly how to use the device. So again once you're ready to use the device you just plug in the cord into the handset, the little button on the back will start flashing it green and you just press it down to turn on the device and then you press the green button to increase or lower the IPL intensity so the higher you go the more intense it is the quicker the results will be and even though this thing is pretty small and very sleek I have to say it is very powerful and you can start seeing results in as little as two weeks with full results in 12 weeks besides being able to do this from the comfort of your own home I also love that you are going to the root of the hair and eliminating that that, which means that your results will be much more long term you won't have to worry about ink on hairs or razor bumps or, you know with waxing especially at home it can be very messy and time consuming and of course it's a lot more cost effective long term since you won't have to be going to the salon for treatment you just get this device one time and you can do it from the comfort of your own home whenever you want I like to do it once a week and that is what's suggested for best results Kenzie have been so kind to offer all of my viewers $50 off so you can visit the link down below or kenzie.com that's k-e-n-z-z-i.com and use my code annie50 for $50 off so usually the device is $229 but with my code you get it for $179 which is truly such a great price that is about 
like half of the price for one session of laser and when you have this you can do it again whenever you want you can do it on all different parts of your body and it does work really really well so i would highly recommend checking them out again i will have the link down below in the description box for our dinner tonight I'm gonna be making a veggie lasagna I have all of the ingredients here in front of me just went to the grocery store actually as you guys saw to pick up some of the things that I was missing we're gonna be trying a new recipe this is a completely plant-based lasagna so for the ricotta cheese it's not real cheese we're gonna be making it out of tofu and this is an organic one which I think is pretty important whenever you get any soy product the recipe also calls for some hummus some nutritional yeast garlic powder and some fresh basil which smells absolutely incredible and we have some vegetables here that i'm going to saute with some olive oil in this pan we have mushrooms zucchini and some spinach and then of course we need some lasagna sheets these are gluten-free because as some of you might know mo does not tolerate gluten very well so everything that we have at home is gluten-free he'll sometimes have it when we're out but we do try to keep everything at home at least completely gluten-free then of course we need some tomato sauce marinara sauce and that's pretty much it so i will show you guys how i make this and of course i will have the recipe linked for you guys down below So first I am preparing the veggies, just slicing up the zucchini and then the mushrooms and I'm going to saute this on a pan with some olive oil at the bottom and then right before this is done I'm going to add in the fresh spinach. Moving on to the plant-based ricotta cheese, I'm first going to chop up some fresh basil. You need about one fourth of a cup and we're gonna add this into the cheese and it's gonna taste so amazing. And then for the actual cheesy part, I'm crumbling the tofu with my hand. You wanna make sure this is a dry and pressed tofu and it's gonna give that beautiful ricotta texture. Once the tofu is crumbled, I'm adding in some nutritional yeast, garlic powder, hummus, and then some salt and pepper, and of course the fresh basil as well, and I'm just stirring all of that together. And this, you guys, is so incredible, even just by itself. It's really such a great dairy-free alternative to regular ricotta cheese. I love it. Next, I'm preparing the pasta sheets by boiling them for a few minutes in some hot water. You wanna make sure that they're like 80% done, so al dente, not fully cooked through. And then at this point, the zucchini and mushrooms are done, so I'm adding in the fresh spinach on top. And now we're ready to start layering the lasagna. So I'm starting with some marinara sauce for the base, and then I'm adding in a layer of the pasta sheets, followed by the tofu ricotta cheese. And then the mixed vegetables on top. Again, you wanna repeat with the marinara sauce. and then the pasta sheets, the ricotta, and then the veggies. And you wanna do that until you reach the very top. So it's about like three or four layers. I would have definitely made more of the veggie mix next time as I was a bit low towards the end, as you'll see. <laughs> but it was still really good. The last layer, I just topped it with one more layer of the lasagna sheets, some marinara sauce, and then I sprinkled some more nutritional yeast at the very top, and then of course, some salt and pepper. I just covered it with some tin foil, and then I let that bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. I always like to set a timer on my phone just so that I can keep an eye on the time, and this is always very helpful. And here it is, it was absolutely incredible. I would highly recommend trying this out and of course I will have this recipe down below for you guys in the description box.
Okay, our lasagna is done. This looks and smells amazing. How is it? Really good. Mm. <laughs> smells so good. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Today we actually have a lot of work things going on. We have a few meetings, some briefs and artwork things that we need to create and also to approve. I'm sure a lot of you know we have a skincare and wellness brand called Nourish 3. And that is actually what we work on like 90% of the time. But let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more of like the behind the scenes of what we do for our brand. It is our baby and we're so passionate about it we have our instagram which some of you guys might know we share a lot of content over there as well and we post every other day so there's quite a bit of content there but do let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing if you also have your own brand or your own business or if you want to create one in the future maybe you'll get some inspiration or ideas from that kind of content i could weave it into the vlogs but anyway all of that to say that we do have a lot of things going on today but one thing that we want to do is work on our art piece we went to an art store we got lots of paint and a canvas we already made one painting which i'm looking at right there in our kitchen and it's so beautiful and we do have a few more walls in the apartment that we want to add some art to so we're going to be working on that the next few weeks but we thought we would start today before we get into that i just received this package from cult beauty i ordered this stuff last week and it just arrived so i thought i would share with you guys what i got the first thing I got is the Reverence Aromatique Hand Wash. This is what I originally went on to order. I really love this one because it has these little puma stones. So it really cleans your hands very well and gives you a nice little exfoliation, which I love. I also got this new eye cream from Caudalie. It's called the Resveratrol Lift. I'm not a huge eye cream person, but this had really, really good reviews and I love the brand Caudalie. They're more natural and clean brand, which I love. It says here that this increases natural production of hyaluronic acid two times and collagen five times and i do notice when it starts to get cooler that my skin gets a little drier of course you know from the weather changing so i think a little eye cream will be really nice this is so beautiful wow so i'm excited to try this out again i think it's something that i'll use more in the fall time i also ordered speaking of hand wash and hand lotion i got these new ones from way they look like this. So pretty, right? I love the simple packaging. This is in the scent Dean Street. So let's smell this. Mmm. Mmm, that is really nice. I'm actually going to put some of the lotion on my hand. Oh, that smells incredible. Mmm. Wow. I would even wear that as a, as a fragrance. That smells really, really good. So both the hand wash and hand lotion are in that same fragrance. Would highly recommend it. I'm gonna put these in our bathroom. Having a nicer hand wash and hand lotion is something that I think is nice to kind of invest in, whether that's for your kitchen or for your bathrooms, because I feel like it just adds that little bit of luxury, even if you're not like super crazy about the space that you have. I think adding a little nice like hand wash, hand lotion, maybe a candle, just gives this nice kind of luxurious feel to your your bathroom and it makes the whole experience of being in your bathroom washing your hands freshening up it just gives it like a nice vibe so i love like nicer hand washes and hand soaps like these i think they go a long way and the last few things i got are also from codely i went a little codely crazy this is their micellar cleansing water you guys know i love this i've talked about this a few times before on my channel but i do also like to use a balm to remove my makeup just depends on the amount of makeup that i have on what i feel like that evening but something that i've never tried is an oil so this is their makeup removing cleansing oil it looks like this it had pretty good reviews as well so i thought i would try it out just for something a little different and then the last thing i got is their vino clean moisturizing toner and that is what it looks like I have been really into using a toner the last few months. I like it as like a final sweep of my face before I do my serums. It kind of just gets the skin nice and moist and prepped for the other skincare product. And again, this brand has no parabens, silicones, PEG, mineral oils, no sulfates, and things like that. So 
yeah i'm excited to give this a try i will make sure to have all of these products linked for you guys down below if you want to check them out as well but that was my little haul <laughs> of things that i got it is a little bit later and we are about to head to dinner thought i would show you my outfit of the night it is a little on the chilly side so i'm wearing these white jeans these are actually really old from levi's but they're such a nice and classic fit i feel like i reach for these pretty often and they're nice for summer if you want to look like summery but it is a little cold i feel like light denim is definitely the way to go and then i have on this beautiful top this is from revolve and the brand is free people i got this in the spring of 2020 so i'm not sure if it's still available but of course i will check for you guys and if i can find it i will have it linked down below i'm wearing this very cute little bag from chloe some of you might know i recently organized all of my handbags and this one had actually been in my closet like tucked away in its dust bag for years <laughs> i don't even know when the last time was that i wore this little bag but it's so cute it looks like a little accessory i really love the gold hardware on this and this like chunky kind of bracelet such a fun bag and i think really nice for summer as well and i love that the gold also goes with my jewelry my necklaces are from misoma as are my earrings so yeah that is my outfit of the evening i'm going to pair that with my white sneakers it will be a comfy and still kind of cute dinner look we were planning on working on our paintings today but that did not happen <laughs> and that's okay sometimes plans don't work out as you expect i think especially when you work from home and you have your own business and that's like the thing that we're focusing so much on i also had to pack because i am actually going home for the weekend i'm going to switzerland that is where my mom lives so i am very excited to see her and just have some nice like family time so i also had to pack and i feel like the day has just flown by but here we are <laughs> before i wrap up this video i want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been following us on our nourish 3 instagram account we recently reached 13,000 followers on there which is so exciting and i wish mo was here to kind of like celebrate this but he is very excited too and i'm just so happy that you guys are enjoying the content over there and as a little thank you we want to give 20 percent off so you can use the code grateful at checkout and that will get you 20 percent off the entire site and again this is to say thank you for supporting us for following our page for leaving such amazing reviews and just for your kindness and love around our whole brand it really does mean so much to us we have lots more exciting things launching very soon so stay tuned i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always make sure to check the description box down below for recipes links i'll definitely make sure to have the lasagna recipe down below as well which was so good by the way i would highly recommend it also again my code for the laser hair removal handset is annie50 you will find a link for it down below and i'll make sure to have the code information down below as well for you guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you're all having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys